hi guys welcome to my channel so today i am talking i'm trying to tell you the things i know about the covid19 test and why it takes long time to actually diagnose and uh actually find a vaccine for COVID so uh as a phd student in um, science and biotechnology area the things i know about how these research are working and the tests are going on are probably helpful for you to understand more about the covid19 virus first of all i need to tell you what's covid19 stand for so covid is like corona virus and um, d for the disease and the 19 is 2019 so the covid virus disease in 2019 is a covid19 uh, that's what it stand for and um, and i need to tell you it's actually spread all over the world right now and most of the countries are affected including usa so um, we are hoping for the best solution for them and they're actually working for that too and um, and um, now we actually take more than four uh, two to four hours actually to diagnose COVID-19 virus if you are uh, actually infected with that so I need to explain why it takes long time what is the process for that so if you don't know they have the real-time PCR um, QPCR or quantifying uh, quantitative PCR methods that's what they're using to actually quantify and measure the and see whether you actually have the virus so this virus is a single stranded uh, RNA so as you can say it's a, like a one single strand thread so once it enters into the body it can actually change the positions in that uh, thread so like uh, in this RNA uh, sequence it has like a small different nucleotides so different small molecules they actually can change the position in the thread so it's not the same virus that actually enter into your body so that's why it's really difficult to find a cure for this kind of disease because it's actually changed in the sequence and it's not the same uh, sequence of that you actually uh, start to work with so uh, that's really difficult even to uh, predict the sequence um, so that's why it takes long time to find a cure or vaccine and the thing is if you uh, actually find a vaccine it should take long time like nearly a year to actually approve uh, uh, to become approved vaccine because it's a this is a long process actually it's need to go through six trials like a uh, six experiments like you need to do with the cell lines and the uh, animal experiment like including rats rodents and uh, chimpanzee like there's several different animals that you need to check and then finally go to the patients and then they will actually approve for the vaccine because it's like a long long time now if the situation is really emergency situation like this they actually skip the some uh, procedures and they try to uh, actually speed the whole process and i think they're actually working on that and right now as a um, cure or the drug for the covid19 they're using a combination of sars and malaria like a several antiviral drugs together and i don't know the composition or anything like that they're using antiviral they actually used before for the virus disease like this like sars and they try to use that as a, the drug for the covid19 i'm not sure whether it's work like 100 percent it's probably work but it's still they don't know for sure but they know that they are working for some uh some extent but it's still it's in experiment stage uh so they're not confirming this results or anything like that um and as i told you because you have to do the real-time pcr or the qpcr uh, to measure the, and uh, to find out whether you are infected and that process is a really long process and i need to explain what's really they are doing so if you have the uh, single strand RNA or the covid19 virus in your inside your body they actually uh, they what you're doing is they actually target one small piece position on a small sequence of that viral sequence that's specifically in viral sequence and then they try to multiply that um, whole sequence uh, if you have the virus in your body the total count at the end is really high if you don't have that virus this count is really low
Oh, zero. Near to zero. So, um, that's how they know whether you are positive to COVID-19 or not. So, uh, they will take a swab or something um, uh, for that. For like, you just need a small amount of RNA or DNA, like a small amount of sample to do the whole process because you can multiply the, even one single strand and then get the result. Um, but it's take time so the qpcr actually take two to four hours but now they actually increase this process and they can actually do it nearly like i think two hours and i read uh, yesterday they actually approve another uh, really fast method uh, they can actually uh, uh, test uh, COVID-19 within 45 minutes I think but I'm not sure about the whole process because, because they didn't actually tell that in that article or anywhere so I'm not sure about the process though but they're saying they have a like a very fast method than the doing real-time PCR or PCR uh, to figure it out whether you're positive or negative for the COVID-19 so that's a good news they're still working on the vaccine though so the right now as it all as i told you there's a drug they're using it's an antiviral drug they use for the a viral disease like they we had before and they're trying to combine them together and i don't know when I think probably they will change some and they're using that as a, a method to cure the covid 19. Uh, so hopeful, uh, hopefully we'll find a good solution in, in the near future so that's the hope of all of us and um, eventually we all can be actually say we are safe um, so I hope you enjoy my video as, as you all I'm also in the self quarantine at this stage and it's really difficult because we don't have in the cities and it's everything is different right now and but we have to be safe guys because we have to stay home and we have to uh, protect others and that's the best thing we can do right now stay home and stay healthy i hope you all are uh, doing great right now and hope we all hope for the best see you in the next video